Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweatonato? And this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can easily make your photos better and how you can make them look better after doing the skin retouching in Photoshop. So, oftentimes we tend to mess up photos and we don't get the desired results when you're trying to perfect the images after doing the skin retouching. So, in this, we're going to be learning how you can easily make your photos nicer and make them look better after you have done the skin retouching so you can say before and after so before after before after so what i want to do first of all if i told you to notice the neck is way different from the rest of the body and this side is slightly different from right here on the shoulder so what i want to do i want to first of all even out the skin tones and this is what i tend to do first after doing skin retouching so i'll just come right here to my adjustments and simply come to gradient map and after selecting gradient map, it's going to display any other random color over the image. So don't mind if I told you I was showing a different color because right now we're going to be able to change that. So just come right here and deactivate the gradient layer and select the gradient icon. And after selecting the icon, simply click on where you can see those colors that we are displaying over the image. So for my case, this is the color. Simply left click over that. And after doing that, just come to sample size right and simply change it to 5 by 5 and make sure sample all layers is selected and make sure show sampling ring is selected so after you have done that simply left click on this pointer right here and click on the color option so you have to choose a darkest point of the skin tone so just choose a darkest point of the skin tone so for this case we're just going to use just slightly below the neck right here as the darkest point of our skin tone I'm just going to choose a darker point just below the neck and click OK. Then click on the brightest point, this point right here. Then click on the color option and choose a brightest point of the skin and click OK. Then you're going to click in the middle and make sure you type the location 50 so that it is located right in the middle. Then left click on the color option. And you click on what you feel should represent the mid-tones of uh, the model skin tone and click OK. So after doing that, just come and click OK and now activate the layer and change the blend mode from normal and change it to color. And by just doing that, you can see now the skin looks better and it looks a little bit even. So after you have done that, the next thing is going to be coming to this the layer mask right here and simply invert it by pressing ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard and you come under the brushes right click and get the normal brush tool so for the settings it is a normal brush and make sure the hardness is set to zero and make sure opacity and flow is 100 percent so after doing that make sure you have two colors that is black and white right here and if at all you have any other random color simply left click on these tiny boxes to reset or you can simply Press D on the keyboard to reset it to default. So make sure you have black and white right here. So with white as the foreground color, you can now come and reveal the color that was hidden behind the black mask. So I'm just going to come and paint just quickly, just like that. So I only paint on the skin. So make sure you are precise and careful while trying to paint. So I'll just come and paint on each and every area that has skin to try to even out or create some evenness within the skin color. So I'll avoid the cheekbone because that contains some makeup. And I'll proceed with the painting process. So take your time as you're doing this. So I'll come to the nose area and also paint on the nose area just like that. Basically, I'm painting on most of the areas that have or contain skin tone. So I'm just going to reduce on the side by using the bracket keys on the keyboard. So the bracket keys are going to increase or decrease on the size of your brush tool as you're trying to do the painting process. So I think this is okay and this looks better than it was before so i'm just going to use ctrl minus to zoom out so right now the skin is looking even but still the neck is a little bit darker than the rest of uh, the body 
So what I would do in this case, I'll just come right here and I'll create a curves adjustment layer right here. Just come and create a curves adjustment layer. Click in the middle and brighten up just like that. And after brightening it up, what you have to do, you're just going to come and press Ctrl I on the keyboard. So just press Ctrl I to invert the effect. With the brush tool still selected, you can just come and simply start painting on the neck. So just paint over the neck area just like that. So don't mind if I thought it is a little bit too much because you can as well come and perfect that. So I'm just going to paint roughly on the neck area. So after doing that, just come and reduce on the opacity. And after redu reducing the opacity rather, just double click on the curves right here and simply come to properties and come right here to this layer mask right here. So make sure the layer mask is selected and come and feather it down just like that so it can slightly blend into the image but still that looks too much so we're just going to come and reduce it just like that you can continue feathering it upside it can blend well and better within other image but if at all that doesn't work for you you can as well delete this and come and get your quick selection tool so make sure you have selected the quick selection tool so I'm just going to select the background layer and get the quick selection tool and select the neck area just like that. So I just come and select that area that I want to work on. So after selecting that area, I'll simply come back to my, you can either use the curves or brightness and contrast. So I'll just use the brightness and contrast. So I'll reduce the contrast in that area and simply slightly brighten it up. So I'll just brighten it up a little bit. So you can notice that there's no difference right here. So what I'll do, I'll just take this all the way up so that you can see the effect. So you can reduce on the brightness just like that and take down the contrast. But it is weird right here. So just come to the properties right here and feather it a little bit more so that it can blend well and better within uh, the skin itself so i think that has been done well so if at all the effect is too much for your liking you can as well come and reduce on the opacity so the major aim here was to brighten up that area so before after before after the area looks great so after i have done that the next thing i tend to do is simply adding or enhancing the highlights and the shadows by using dodging and burning so I'll just come and create a curves adjustment layer right here just come and create curves and after creating curves simply click in the middle and brighten up that area or brighten up the image then press ctrl or command i on the keyboard to invert that effect and remember brightening is for dodging and we're going to do the same for the dark areas which is the opposite and that is what we know as dodge burning rather. So I'm just going to do the same. Click in the middle and darken just like that. Press Ctrl I on the keyboard to invert. And I'm just going to name that to burn. So while dodging and burning is simply going to come and select the burn for example. And with that done you can now come and get the brush tool. And reduce on the, just going to reduce on the opacity. Of our brush to around I think you're going to use around six and with that done reduce on the size of the brush and simply burn so burning is for a shadow so I'll just come and burn so we are basically trying to enhance the shadows and create shape or dimension on the models face so just come and burn so if at all the brush is not enough you can increase on the opacity so i'm just going to create shape or dimension on the model's face by just burning those areas that i want to burn just like that you can also burn right there and i'm just going to come and i do the same for the bright areas by dodging those areas so i'm just going to dodge that area and dodge right here 
dodge here and I'll also dodge on the shoulder area just like that to enhance those areas so if at all the effect is too much in a given area you can as well undo the given area or you can come through the opacity and reduce on the opacity to your liking so it's the before and after for the dodging and this is the before and after for the burning you can set it has shape and dimension so one final thing i tend to do after retouching is simply coming and adding shine or glow to the skin so i just come and create a curves adjustment layer then after doing that i'll just come to this point in the curves and simply take it up just like that until when i feel like the image is bright enough including the highlights rather so after doing that i'll just come double click on this curves layer to open up the layer style dialog box so make sure the blending is normal and make sure right here you have blend if set to gray so i'll come to the underlying layer and take the effect from affecting the shadow area so just click on these pointers and take them away from the shadow areas up to point whereby the highlights or the brightest points of the skin are being affected so i think that is okay i think around that is okay then split this and create a smooth transition by holding down the option key or you can hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and split that and i think that is okay so click on okay select this white layer mask and invert the effect press ctrl i on the keyboard to invert that so with the brush tool selected opacity and the flat 100 percent i'm simply going to paint on what i feel should be the brightest points of the skin and by just doing that you can even paint over the overall image to create that nice and beautiful skin glow so i think this is okay so that's the before after before after and if at all the effect is too much if at all you paint for example in the teeth you can as well switch the brush back to black and erase the effect from affecting her teeth so if at all the effect is too much you can always come and reduce on the opacity by taking down that so this is what we have right now so let me show you a quick before and after for this so this is the image before after before after and this is the image you can see how it has been able to be transformed in this case so this these are things i tend to do after skin retouching to make photos better so if at all you want to whiten eyes, you can as well proceed with the eye and teeth whitening, which is a very simple method. So let me just show you how it is done. Just come to the adjustments and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. And come to master, make sure master is selected and come to saturation and reduce the saturation. So after doing that, press Ctrl I on the keyboard or you can use Command I on the keyboard and zoom into the image. And after doing that, make sure you have this color white on top reduce on the size by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and can simply come and paint over the white area so make sure you only paint on the white area of the eyes and you can do the same for the teeth to create white teeth and desaturate those colors that are on the teeth so just come and do that so basically this is the same technique most people tend to use but this looks somehow natural enough because it doesn't create that kind of bluish filter over the teeth so i think i have done this Control minus to zoom out so if at all the effect is too much you can always come and reduce on the opacity to your liking so this is it for this video and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.